Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. You can check what beautiful designs we are going to create today. And that's a gold transfer foil, one of my favorite techniques because you can create so many amazing designs like, and my clients love it, especially the ones which don't want too much art, which are looking for something classy and elegant. So those gold looks are just perfect for those kind of clients which expect high quality and not over the top neos. And uh, I do really love this technique. Like it's, it's definitely one of my favorite ones. So you have to check this tutorial and I will tell you all bits and pieces how to make sure that you get this kind of liquid gold look. And uh, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of uh, different uh, ideas and tutorials coming up. So uh, let's start. Perfect design for a Valentine's Day and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. I show you all the hints and tips to create those kind of beautiful, uh, delicate but very effective designs. I have uh, pre-painted my tip white and I have buffed the top coat. This is a very important step that you do buff the top coat on the top of it, otherwise the foil is going to stick in everywhere. I'm going to put a tiny bit of the foil design gel on the side and I show you actually the package of it as well. So that's the foil design gel. It comes in black. And then on top of it, we can just put any kind of foil. I'm going to clean my fingers now uh, to make sure I, they are not sticky later on for transferring the foil. And I think the most difficult one will be probably the keys or the letters and we will go for a key. Uh, so you know how to do it because the love heart shape, everyone can paint it. So basically you just paint love heart shape and stick a couple gems on. So I'm painting the key. Starting with the love heart shape. When applying the transfer foil gel, um, you need to make sure it's kind of goes even so it does takes time like I'm look like how long I paint with it if there is not enough product the foil is not going to stick in but same when it's too much it's not going to look nice In general, all the nice designs takes time. Like I tend to speed up a little bit for the tutorial, so sorry for that. Um, and then another very important tip is if you've got place where it's thinner, the gel is going to over cure and the place where it's too thick, the gel is not going to cure properly. And that's what is going to give you not nice results. So it has to be even everywhere. That's why it takes so long. Like same like you are building up the needles, you need to make sure the gel is smooth. That's how you use the foil design gel as well. So the key is going to be pretty long in here because we also need to squeeze in this part of it. You can do it with two, you can do it with three. I'm just smoothing out the gel more. And then once we've got the key, we can add the chain. And I show you different type of chains. So here is a hook. And now we are going to paint the chain. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just painting like a small circle, circles. I 
And I think every lady would love those kind of design because they're very elegant and they're not over the top. Now, the tips are not the comfiest ones to work with, especially for a transfer foil. But I will show you my best. And we had a wee disaster. The microphone just switched off, so I'm going to do the voiceover. So just finishing off uh, painting the last uh, chain and now we are going to uh, go and cure our design. It is going to be a 30 seconds slow curing um, on the uh, LED light um, just so the foil sticks in really well. So you have to work it out your curing time uh, yourself. And now I'm going to cut a small piece of the foil. Uh, the one which we are going to use is a gold foil. Uh, and it looks really nice for this type of designs. So I will use a tiny bit of the blue scrap to clean it off the back of the foil. There might be always some bits and pieces of the uh, dirt going uh, in there. Uh, I also clean my fingers as well to make sure the foil doesn't stick in. And um, you have to put this foil in between your fingers uh, to get a really nice coverage I show you like. So just in between your fingers and then remember this is a 3D design so you have to press it in and wiggle into different uh, angles and pull it out uh, so this way it sticks in uh, everywhere. I hope it, nothing is going to uh, happen uh, during uh, this time because the uh, tips uh, aren't best uh, but you can see they are a bit wobbly uh, but I will give my best to uh, show you like a nice coverage. So I will start with the middle and then I will just go on to the sides uh, to make sure we've got a full design. So I'm going with my foil in between the fingers and I will be uh, pressing uh, to transfer the gold foil. Of course you go secure the tip first and then press hard, wiggle wiggle, peel it off. And we've got pretty nice coverage. I'm still missing some places on the side so I'm going on one side first. Press it, hold it, pull it off. And then I'm going into the other side, do exactly the same, pick up the fresh piece of the foil, press it hard, wiggle so it sticks everywhere, pull it off. You can also see there is a wee small bits and pieces which we missed, so I'm going to retouch it with the fresh uh, piece of the foil to make sure we've got a really nice uh, coverage. Uh, it's better if we do it in a one go, Pretty difficult on those tips, uh, as I was so scared they might break during the application. Uh, yeah, but it turned out pretty nice. Uh, you can see there is uh, some foil which uh, looks a bit messy. So I'm going to use this uh, eyelash application um, cleaning wand and a tiny bit of the blue scrap. It is a really great way to clean uh, any bits and pieces uh, of the foil which uh, stick in into those places and it does happen because sometimes a tiny bit of the inhibition layer get into the transfer foil and then when we press it uh, this place touch it uh, the um, other places on the tips and that's why we get the transfer foil sticks in into the places we didn't want it so the foil is done now it's a time for a crystals I'm going to use the brush on new glue and that's the glue which I'm using for any kind of um, crystals application. And I think it will look pretty, pretty nice uh, just on the side of this uh, key. I will place it right there. So I'm putting a tiny bit of the uh, brush on new glue. And then I will pick up uh, my Swarovski crystal and stick that in. It's always finished off. I, I think like they really nice... Um, classic and elegant uh, designs which any of your clients are going to uh, love it a lot also thank you so much guys like i mean that the channel is growing so much i'm really chuffed with that like there are so many new like followers and uh, yeah we like it's growing so much so i have just placed the uh, Swarovski crystal in and it's very important that you wait i'm always impatient but you wait before you apply the top coat so the uh, glue doesn't get sticks into the brush um, but yeah put the top coat in and then we can cure this uh, beautiful design and I have picked it the key as I say because it's the hardest one probably from all of them everyone can paint the love heart shape and just stick in some foil into it 
uh, but I wanted to show you something um, a little bit different and very quick and you don't have to use it necessary for a Valentine's uh, time like you could use it for any kind of time of the year because uh, it looks really uh, nice and elegant so I'm just going to give it a quick uh, 60 seconds cure and um, yeah I love also the ones with the um, key rings and uh, what else you could do is like you can see the liquid um, stone in this um, tip we have done it there's a tutorial on my channel so you could do create this liquid stone look and then use the transfer foil to go around it instead of the bead. So imagine now like even this one here, the small love heart bin with the glitter in red, it will look fantastic as well. So does this one, we could do it a liquid stones and uh, fill up those little hearts uh, with the glitter. Uh, that gives you an idea for a completely uh, different look as well. Yeah, so that's the design finish. Thank you so much so much guys for watching glittery hacks and lots of love the glittery hacks are from tina mcneil hartis uh, as she commented it on one of the tutorials and i really love that we'll be using it a lot a lot thanks now bye